I'm very happy to be talking to Monica Aspe today. She's from Mexico and she's the head of the Office for the Coordination of Information Society there. Welcome. Now, you're shaking things up a bit in Mexico, aren't you? Because you've had a very strong incumbent in the country for some time and you want that to change. We're going through a very deep constitutional reform in terms of our telecommunications markets. So yes, the new administration is really shaking things up. And this is as a part of a larger movement, a set of reforms in the country. Um, and it's the three political, main political parties together with the president who presented uh, this reform in order to have uh, more competition in telecommunications, uh, lower prices, better quality, and most of all have uh, access to more population. Could you give me some of the headlines in relation to uh, the situation in Mexico? Because prices have been high for a long time and this has affected your, your growth or affected your standing in terms of development. Well, yes, we have slightly over 40% of internet users and uh, we should and we want to have much higher percentages. We also have problems in terms of coverage of, of networks. Uh, we have only 50% of the population who actually live um, in, in a town that has access to more, two or more fiber optic networks. So 50% of the population don't live in a place where you can access a fiber optics network in competition. So we have challenges in terms of uh, concentration, in terms of uh, prices, quality of service, and most of all access to ICTs and the benefits. So this is a shift towards looking at ICTs really as some sort of engine for growth, uh, an engine for development in Mexico. Absolutely, absolutely. And also in terms uh, of growing, in terms of GDP, but also in terms of equality. Uh, we believe that uh, people, all Mexicans, should have the right to access information and have freedom of expression through ICTs. And this is now a right, a constitutional right, that was passed in Congress a couple of days ago. So we're very happy for that because we will have uh, the, the visibility, the importance of this matter now at the constitutional level and thus we will have much more powerful and larger uh, policies regarding access. And this is quite important for a country like Mexico which is very vast but not necessarily homogenous. You have marginalised communities on the margins who, who might need to have, through ICTs, access to e-government services, etc. Exactly. And uh, Latin America is the most unequal region in terms of uh, income distribution in the world and uh, Mexico is part of this inequality. So uh, ICTs are a huge opportunity to take public services, uh, to make equal in terms of coverage and quality uh, public services such as education, uh, health, uh, security and well the main services that states provide. Monica Aspe, thank you very much. Thank you.